Hey guys, all that is Apple here, and I'm going to be showing you guys a video of the how to jailbreak, bleh, how to jailbreak fourth generation iPod Touch with the Virgin. I just said Virgin, didn't I? I mean, a uh, version. Um, 4.3.3, and I'm going to show you guys right here, so then you guys can see that I'm not fucking with you guys. Uh, version right there 4.3.3 8J2 and yep alright so we're gonna exit out of this wait what did that just say 4.3.2 wait hold up sorry about that guys let's see here Video is gonna die. I mean, this iPod's gonna die. All right. No, never mind. Four point three point three. All right. So oh, it was right. So, anyways, we're gonna go to the computer here. We're gonna take that off here. We're gonna click on my mods folder. Our folder. Open up Red Snow. Just wait for that to come up. And you wanna browse and put in your. 4.3.2 uh, software in it. So there it is. For me, I can just click that and I'm gonna click open. And it's processing firmware. It's gonna wait for a bit. Alright, so I want to identify that. Just wait for it to process the kernel and then it does all this regular crap, I guess. And, yep, so just wait for that to jailbreak. Alright, so once you get here, it says enable battery percentage. I want that, of course, which that is, it shows you how much per percentage of battery you have left which I think you guys all want, which is pretty cool. And of course, install Cydia. And it tells you right here to make sure your iPod's off, but still plugged into your computer. So we're gonna turn off this iPod. And we're gonna slide the... Alright, so once it's completely off... Alright, so now it's off. And I'm gonna have to set this somewhere, which I'm gonna put maybe right about here. Alright. So now, what you have to do at the beginning, it's right, right when you push next, you gotta hold down the power button for three seconds. After the three seconds up, combine with the home button for ten seconds. After the ten seconds are done, then you want to. Um, let go of the power button and hold the home button until it identifies it, alright? So we're going to start it, and I'm going to put the iPod here so you guys can see. Well, actually, I want to leave it here so I can don't mess up. Alright, so one, two, three, hold the power button for three seconds. One, hold, combine with the home button for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until it identifies the iPod Touch 4th gen. If that's what you have or whatever iPod you have. There it is. It says waiting for iPod. Now you can let go of the home button. And it's just going to be doing that. And this is what your iPod should look like while it's doing it. Um, so I'm just going to leave it here to show you guys. And now... That jailbreak is done, so you can just click finish on your computer and just wait for this to be done. Which I'm gonna take this off the stand and show you guys. And I do not know why it's saying please wait. Sorry about that, guys. There you go. Something's happening here. Look at all those please wait, like, it's crazy. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Okay, so this might take a while for it to jailbreak here. Let's 
this is gonna be a long video. Alright, so once it's all done doing this, um, I'll come back to the video and I'll show you what it looks like after you're done jailbreaking it. Hey guys, all of that is Apple here again. And um, so once it's done rebooting, we're gonna slide to unlock and then you're gonna slide over until you see Cydia right there. And if you, it's gonna be white, of course, because it's not gonna work because you have 4.3.2 software into 4.3.3 update software. So this is what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to, um, let's see, I think it's turn it off. And you're gonna slide to power off. Once it's done powering off, we can go back on the computer here. I'm gonna set you guys down. Okay, and we're gonna open back uh, Red Snow again. We're gonna browse, and just browse for the same one. So I'm gonna browse for 4.3.2, and you're gonna open that. You gotta wait, and just to let you guys know that with doing this. You cannot let your iPod die or let it run out or turn it off, all right? You have to always keep it on, just to let you guys know that. Because if you guys don't keep it on, if you guys turn it off, you're going to have to reboot it with this program again, doing this same step. So I'll be showing you right now. So you're going to uncheck install you, uh, install Cydia, and then uncheck enable battery percentage, and it says there's a second one to the bottom and say just boot tethered right now you want to click that and that's what that's exactly what you have to click in order to reboot your iPod if you turned it off on accident or it dies alright so you're gonna click on that and you're gonna click next and of course it's already gonna be off so you're gonna hold power button to on hold with the home button for eight seven six five four three two one, let go of the power button and keep on holding the home button until the program identifies your iPod. There it is. Now you can let go of the home button. Watch your watch the iPod do its thing. See now you got a pineapple symbol, and that's what you need. So it's finished. And then you're gonna go back onto your iPod. And it's just gonna be like that. I'm just gonna wait for a while. So I'll be back. Uh, yep. All that is Apple here, guys. And of course, my iPod just got done with the pineapple symbol. So I'm gonna slide and unlock. And there's Cydia. So you wanna click on that. And your iPod is completely jailbroken after this. You should already know what to use um, after that. Uh, you know, if you jailbroke before, of course. Yeah, so just look up how to use Cydia if you don't know how. This video is already long enough, so thanks for watching, guys, and uh, that's pretty much it. Peace.